In this video, we are simulating suitable enclosures for this pairless SLS 10-inch subwoofer. Let's first quickly look at the sub's features and parameters, and then what kind of box would work for it. And lastly, I give you some box design recommendations. SLS is more budget line from Pearless, and you can have this sub under 80 euros. Really nice to see use of sorting ring at this price range. Axmax also is pretty good for a budget sub. I calculated efficiency bandwidth product to be 54.9. That leans more on the sealed side, but this sub will work with large enough vented design also. Parameters for this sub are easily available at Symphony's website. I'm rating this datasheet 3 minus out of 3. All the needed data is there, but it could be presented nicer and made easier to read on the datasheet and on the website, which is better out of these two. Tiffany gives you also some homework in form of equation to calculate energy bandwidth product. Also, no mechanical excursion limit number or box recommendation or anything like that. Now for the first graph that shows two box suggestions. They are from Pulse Express website and are made using Basebox 6 high fidelity suggestions. Having more volume with the shield, as we can see now next, has diminishing returns. Smaller vented limits, low end extension. This MH Audio website calculator box suggestion is too big, considering excursion at this voltage. These two first suggestions, however, are solid options to go by. I would not go bigger with vented than this because that limits how much voltage you can then push onto this sub without over excursion. Now my recommendations. Two shields, and these shields are giving you some guidelines. You can go with any volume that suits your space between these two volumes. Example, that 35 liter suggestion from the last graph is good choice. If you have the space, for bigger than this 60 liter box, then the vented makes more sense. And here is three suggestions for vented enclosures. Delay wise, these are really good. This next graph shows these same boxes now with the dry voltage when the linear excursion is starting to pass. And we can see that the large shield gets left behind, so that is something to consider depending how much you have amplifier power. These other boxes are pretty similar over the 65 Hz. Vented obviously gives you more low end extension with the price of giving up space, having to have bigger box. But this small shield works still great. Second axis is the impedance, and it dips down to 6 ohms at some times. For the conclusion, this sub seems great budget hi-fi home DIY sub for sealed or large vented. For compact or small vented enclosures, there is better options than this sub. Amplifier wise, thing to consider is that the sub has 8 ohm nominal impedance, but power wise this doesn't need much. Linear Xmax limit probably is exceeded even with 70 watts of power. How much there is mechanical excursion beyond that, it's hard to say. The small shield and the 60 liter vented examples are good choices for many different applications. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, leave a like.